Hell yeah. The first villager trait I got is Aqua Affinity, which I need. If I get all of them this fast, this will take no time at all. How often are we going to be underwater? That isn't a very useful enchantment. You'll need it to collect sea pickles on the ocean floor. A use for it that isn't useless is for ocean temples. Sea pickles aren't useless. I use them to mark the mine. Saul, we already discussed that sea pickles were a horrible choice for a marker, and you should have used wood. They are only like three inches tall. You shouldn't have used something that short. Walter, three inches is a lot for you. The fuck is that supposed to mean? This villager's trade is super expensive. Does anyone have any emeralds? Yeah, kid, I got some earlier from doing a bit of trading. What I traded, I won't tell. Yeah, yeah, whatever, thanks. This is why you shouldn't have killed those nitwits. Was it worth it, kid? Totally, I'll just trade paper for emeralds for any future trades. I think you were the nitwit for killing those nitwits. That was a real clever insult, Walt. What's next? I know you are, but what am I? Finally, I am all set up and I can start the tutorial video. Wow, Mr. White, you really need to watch a tutorial? Jesse, mine, Saul's, and Mike's jobs all need tutorials. Yours doesn't since you're too much of a simpleton to be trusted to complete something tricky and precise. There's nothing tricky about following a tutorial step by step. Come on, kid. Tutorials are helpful. How do you think I learned tax evasion? Jesse, I'm sure you have used tutorials before. Nope, never. While it is true that you never paid attention in my chemistry classes, and you somehow failed despite my grading being the most forgiving out of all the teachers, I do know for a fact that you learned how to make meth from me. No, I already knew how to make meth. You just taught me some tips to increase the purity. You can't really call that a tutorial. I'm starting to think the kid might be right. When I tried to teach him how to launder his money, he acted like I was wasting his time, and he left, even though I was trying to prevent him from having to pick up the soap in the prison showers. Cool, there's a rabbit. Now I can test out my diamond sword. Why test with a rabbit? Those things are like one-shot kills. Even with a wooden sword, you should test it on something with more health. Good idea. What are your cords? I want to test the sword. If you so much as throw a snowball at me, I will kill you and take your stuff. I have way better gear than you. It'd be easy. Your old arthritic fingers wouldn't be able to beat me in a PvP battle, so I'm not worried. Neither of you will kill each other. And you especially won't take each other's things. This is a co-op world. If we are killing and stealing from each other, we will never get anywhere. These two have been butting heads before we even loaded up the world. We should let them kill each other just so they can get it out of their system. Scamming Howard allowed me to unleash my frustration, and now I'm great. No, Saul, they have to learn to get along. Damn, you sound like you're talking about two quarrelsome siblings that are eight. Well, they're acting like that. Fuck you, Mike. Holy shit, I found it. I found coal. This is better than when I found Sandpiper's shredded papers in the trash. It's actually ridiculous it took us this long to find coal. Did they decrease the amount of coal veins in the cave update? That's the only explanation, since when I played before the update, there was more coal than stone. Well, Walter, there's also the explanation that we simply got unlucky. Unlucky like when I accidentally scammed Tuco. Saul, sometimes you remind me of a Family Guy character in the worst ways possible. Get out of my way, bitch. These damn villagers won't just stay in place and I have to hit them for them to move. You don't have to hit them. Just try being patient. All you're doing is driving up the costs of the trades. I can't believe you hit them just because they're being annoying right after we lectured you about the consequences of hitting them. Walt, you seem like the kind of guy to hit your wife because she's being annoying. If I did hit her, can any of you blame me? I mean, even after watching her sing Happy Birthday, can you still blame me? I agree, she's a bitch. I can and would blame you, Walter. You don't know her, trust me. She's as bad as Lydia and you were willing to kill her. Lydia ordered a hit on me. Still. I got Aqua Affinity again. That's a bit lucky. Not lucky since you already had it. Try Improbable. Sure, fine. Improbable. No wonder you teamed up with Jack, you grammar Nazi. I wasn't correcting his grammar. I was correcting which word he should use to describe the situation. Sounds like something a grammar Nazi would say. Walter simply saw a chance to make himself look smarter, and he took it. Fuck, my shovel broke. At least I got an iron ingot. Still, I can use it to replace my shovel. Hey, why the fuck do you have that extra iron? You should have only taken what you needed from me, but you took one extra. It's too late. I already crafted it. Bitch! Walter, you're an asshole. But it'll be fine, Jesse, since Saul is making an iron farm. It still pisses me off. Jesse, I'm using this shovel for the farm, which will benefit all of us. You could have made a stone shovel. You just didn't want to deal with having to dig slowly. Or he could have made a wooden shovel. Why the fuck would he make a wooden shovel? I don't know, kid. I'm just listing possibilities here. I'm not saying there's a good reason to... Well, he also could have made a hoe and dug with that. 
Does that make any sense? No, since why would he waste his hour to make her dig for him? They're expensive. Fuck you, Saul. Saul Jesse said make a hoe, not use a hoe. Your joke has some logical flaws. Damn, it was just a joke, guys. It doesn't have to make sense. The reason jokes are funny is because they make sense and are relatable. Not always. Just look at Gen Z humor. Can't explain it, but it's funny. No, it is not funny. Videos of Gen Z humor just rots the brains of whoever watches them. You are a prime example of that. Bitch.